Hey Aries, thank you so much for tuning in with me, Smell the Roses. Um, please take whatever resonate, leave whatever don't. All right, Aries, let's get into it. Um, let's see your present energy. Show us the present energy for Aries for the week of October 28th, 2024. Please show us a message for Aries present energy. What is the present energy for Aries? Present energy for Aries. Present energy for Aries. What is the present energy? All right. The present energy for you, Aries, is death, which speaks of transformation, um, death and rebirth, which is also Scorpio energy as well. This is coming up in your present energy. So... You can definitely be transforming at this present time. Um, transform it into a bigger, better you. Okay. I will hope so. It's death and rebirth. Um, you definitely want to transform into a better version of you. Um, but yeah, so that is what is going on for you presently. Let's get uh Aries desires. Aries desires. What is it that Aries desiring? Okay. Not the devil. You're desiring the devil? <laughs> no. Okay. Or are you? But no, um, it looks like you're desiring something like you can't you can't take your mind off of it. It's like it's uh whatever this is, it's like you gotta have it. You want it, you must have it. Okay, your desires is very strong right now. Let's get one more on the devil. Clarify the devil. For Aries desires. Clarify the devil. Clarify this devil. Five of Cups in reverse. All right. So you you are obsessed with overcoming some guilt or shame or sadness. Like you like, nah. Yeah, you're obsessed with it. Like I have to overcome this. I'm overcoming this. Let me get more on death. Death with the present energy. Clarify death. Death is clarified with the Ace of Pentacles. So the present energy, this transformation is happening for um, for your finances. This could be a new uh, financial opportunity that's being presented to you. Uh, some type of offer financially. Uh, this is it's a, it's a brand spanking new opportunity here. Someone is very gifted as well. Um, and this could be spiritually. Let's get more. Show us what's um the helpful, what's helpful for Aries at this time. What is helpful for Aries for the week of the twenty eighth? What's helpful is the Empress. Okay, a mother energy. Yeah, so what what could be helpful is this mother energy. Uh, you got a lot of major arcanas here. Show us more on the Empress and Aries helpful energy. Show us more on this Empress. Yeah, what would be helpful for you is to take a risk towards someone maybe someone is pregnant or want to be pregnant or something or um there could be a pregnancy show us more with the fool as well for aries but someone is confused so there could be some confusion around a mother a baby mother let me get the obstacles. Let's see. Um, unless you're the mother or baby mother, show us more on the obstacle. The obstacle is the six of wands in reverse. No victory, no success in something. No recognition. Show us more on the six of wands in reverse. I'm getting like someone is the gift and someone is not. Show us more on the six of wands in reverse. Justice. 
So justice is okay. The obstacle is receiving justice. The obstacle is receiving some type of recognition or justice with, with someone. Or someone trying to receive this with you. Show us more on the near future. What's in the near future for Aries? Near future. Show us the near future for Aries. The near future is the harmony. Someone going within. Someone retreating, going within, trying to investigate, gain more insight, gain more um, information on something. Yeah. Someone working on gaining more information on something. What about um the hermit and the three of pentacles? The hermit and the three of pentacles. Five of swords and a queen of pentacles. Someone could be jealous of someone's stability. So someone could have been, well, I'm getting like competition, like trying to compete for like the, the, the attention, the accolades, that recognition. Yeah. Someone was trying to, um, compete for that, but that's become an obstacle because it's, it's not fair. It's not just, it's not right or yeah, we got somebody jealous here. It could be a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Someone is losing faith here. Because whatever their plan was, not working. Like, just be you. Just be yourself. Do what you... I don't know, Aries. You're not even in this energy. I mean, well, technically, yes, you are. The fool. But, I, but that's also Aquarius. Um... I just feel like, let me get more on the Seven of Cups. With the helpful energy, Seven of Cups. Someone may need to move in silence, like not let a mother, baby mother know your every move or something. Because it looked like someone is trying to confuse you or trying to manipulate you in some type of way. Show us more on the lovers, Four of Wands. Someone could live with a, a Gemini and this is becoming a burden or yeah, there go that competition. Five of Wands. Ew. So if someone is dealing with someone, someone could be in competition with your lover. So say for instance, you, <laughs> this is crazy. Or you could be, you. someone is in competition with you. That your lover was dealing with, take it however it resonates. It's like someone is in competition, but it's like it's being overlooked. Like all that work, they did all this work, hard work to compete with you or to 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 oh get over for you to get overlooked so they can get recognized. Hey, me over here, like what the heck? Uh, yeah, someone they're realizing all that for what? For nothing. Someone is a really just have a jealous spirit. Show us more on the present energy with the death and the ace of pentacles. This is like the only good part of this reading. Show us more on the present energy, the death and the ace of pentacles, page of wands. So it looks like you have a new beginning with someone. You could be receiving a message with this person or to this person. Some of you could be dealing with a, um, a Scorpio. Yeah, Scorpio came out twice in this reading. So you could be dealing with a Scorpio. There's a forward movement here. Someone could be moving towards someone. You and someone could have a child or um, maybe this is future-wise. But there's a move here. There could be a message about this. Someone, someone, I feel like someone could have been just around toxic people. Someone could be blocking a message. Show us more. Or trying to block block a message or block a message, block you from receiving a message. Or this is you. Show us more. Or this person is blocking a message from you. What the heck, y'all? <clears throat> we got the king and the queen coming out. Someone is trying to block you. You and your 
you and your queen or you and your king from coming together. Why? Show us more on the uh, king and queen of wands. Four of uh, pentacles. But it, it's, it's locked in. It ain't no uh, releasing this. It's, it's like, nope. This is, <laughs> dang. It is no, uh, is they can't block it as much as they want to. Yeah, because why? Because Aries, you holding on tight. You said, no, I'm not letting up. You know who your queen is? Or you or you know who your king is? Wow. And then a judgment and a page of cups come out. They're, they came back out. So you want this or this person want this with you? A renewal? A fresh new start, fresh new start in love. Someone could be pregnant. Or someone, you know, maybe that's future wise, however it is for your situation. Yeah, so it looked like a mother or a mother figure could be uh causing confusion, but it's like but they they come across as helpful energy. So this could be this don't have, when I say mother, it could be an actual mother. It could be your mother. It could be your 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 person mother. It could be um a baby mother. It could be a motherly energy. It could be an aunt. You know, it could be whoever. But someone surrounding this could have been like whoever in your situation could have been helpful. But at the same time, they cause confusion. They but it's purposely done because they they it's like someone is trying to prevent you. From taking a leap of faith, but you look at this person as helpful, and it, because you want to go towards a lover, or you want to go towards yeah, a union with the lovers in a four of wands. This could be like um, four of wands could be like twin flame. We do have a uh, soulmate energy here. It just looks like it's competition to receive what you want, and it's pertaining to your lover, your person. Let me get, let me, let me see something, y'all. How many minutes? Okay, we're good. 12.21. 12 minutes. Show us a message for Aries. No. Why the cards got a ball? Show us a message for Aries. Yeah, I feel like someone is trying to protect this. They know something, like you either gain some knowledge on something and you're trying to protect this union or this your connection or this person is. Let's see a message for, um. but it took a while. For some of you, you're not in that yet, but you will. You're going to realize, oh, let me protect this because I see what's going on. Let me see a message for Aries. Aries. Talking, conversing more, awaited message arrives, text call, email, hoovering. Yeah, someone definitely will be messaging you or you are going to be reaching out to them. Show us more on this energy. Oh, it's not. Let me take a minute. I'll get a good one. What else for Aries? Girl with the snake. Like I said, a motherly energy, but they seem helpful. It's like, yeah, I, I want to help you. Yeah, you can come, and I can, or I got this for you. Like, someone is trying to be helpful, but they really trying to uh confuse you to keep you off your path with your union, with someone that you're supposed to come into union with, or you could already be in a connection with, and someone is trying to, you know, get you to go the other direction. We have girl with the snake empath and narcissist being charmed or used, enable boundaries. Exactly. Anything else for Aries? We have hammer, sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, and working on it. And then we have not enough, a frustrated in a relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego issues, and jealousy. I did say it's jealousy here for sure. And someone is watching, reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learn from the past, make make memories. Yeah, someone from the past is... is uh. I don't know. You may have people just just don't want you. I don't know. It just seems like people don't want you to be happy or move on or 
they could just be jealous of this connection because it's powerful. King and queen of wands. Um, We have unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, and attraction. So you do have love here. But someone is trying to stab you in the back. Heartbreak, pain, separation, deception. Wow. I, I tell no lies. All right, we have heart with the key. Welcome in love, meeting the one. Open your heart, get in together, and perfect. See, that's the energy here where you're supposed to be coming into connection with. It could be with a fire sign or a Scorpio, or they could have fire placements, Aries placements. You could have a Scorpio placements or Aries placements, or um, those are the main signs in this energy with the, the love situation. Welcome in love, meeting the one. Open your heart. Get in together, perfect. Paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. So yeah, this is a good connection here. It's just like it's just it just seemed like it's energies that's not wanting this to come together. Some of you could have been involved with the Earth sign, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or uh, a Pisces or a Gemini. Taurus, I think I said Taurus. Yeah, Taurus. Um. These are the energies that's trying to keep, they don't necessarily have to be all, but, you know, some of these signs is coming out in the energies as the snake, okay? And it could be a feminine energy. You have love call. Someone expresses love and message, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. Um... Yeah, stabbed in, stabbed in the back did come out. Have faith, love is coming, surprise, invitation, or meeting, hesitation, receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, closure, issues. Since it's Halloween time, let's get one of these. Spirit, please show us a message for Aries. Aries, show us a message for Aries, Spirit. Aries. <laughs> no, you don't. You got, you got M Street. You got M Street, like Friday. I mean Friday. Uh, Freddy Cougar. <laughs> so M Street, maybe someone give you back. Like this person may try to haunt you in your dreams or try to make you have bad dreams of your person because they were trying to get you to not go that route. Confirmation. <laughs> um, we have warlock. Someone is a warlock here. We have skeletons in, in their closet. Mm, someone got some secrets. Uh-huh. And taking that secret to the grave. Mm. And join the coven. So someone is a part of a coven. They're taking that secret to the grave. Someone could have been trying to, um, yeah, you got somebody here that's, that's, that could have been, yeah, like I said, keeping it to themselves. They're not telling you, they're not even showing that they were a part of a coven or um, that they did any any type of deceptive thing to keep you and your person apart or whatever. But something is going on is fishy. I'm going to extend this, find out the fears. Um, how this person is viewing you, especially this new love, how they're viewing you. And then what the heck is going on with this, uh, snake energy, um, find out your wish and what, I mean, and if your wish will come true and then the outcome, and then I'll provide an Oracle message and Patreon. All right. But that is it. You guys, thank you so much for tuning in for this weekly message until next time.